The House on Tuesday night voted 368 to 57 to pass nearly $40 billion in additional military, economic and humanitarian aid to Ukraine to fight against Russia's invasion. The measure now goes to the Senate, which Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said will act on it swiftly and send to President Biden. According to multiple congressional sources, the latest package includes $3.4 billion in new funding for food aid and an equal $3.4 billion increase in spending authority for military aid. In a letter to her House colleagues ahead of the vote, Speaker Nancy Pelosi wrote time is of the essence, and we cannot afford to wait. With this aid package, America sends a resounding message to the world of our unwavering determination to stand with the courageous people of Ukraine until victory is won. On Monday, President Biden said he was dropping his request to combine the Ukraine money with a separate request for additional. We cannot allow our shipments of assistance to stop while we await further congressional action, Biden said. We are approximately 10 days from hitting this critical deadline. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin sent a letter to lawmakers urging them to pass the expanded aid for Ukraine. Republicans had threatened to block the COVID-19 money because of an unrelated border policy dispute.